time. It is time for a check on our forecast with the one and only Jordan Wilkerson, who is not with me because we are practicing safe social distancing, but it is sure nice to see her face this morning. No. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> We're on a delay. Good too. morning. And I have my mom in town, and she just made me some cookies. Oh, I'm so jelly. Look at that. Oh, you are just. Mm. Oh, it's so oh, good. I'm so you sorry. Are some kind of evil, Missy. <laughs> okay. <I'm... laughs> All right. Probably shouldn't have taken that bite. So let's just get to the graphics, right? We have a live look outside with our waterfront tower camera. It is gorgeous out there. And actually, I was looking, and there's not that many places dealing with fog at the moment. So a lot of you are already waking up to beautiful conditions. But if you are waking up to low areas of clouds, just know that that will clear out once again. Then let's talk about those temperatures, because we've caught quite the range. You can see Olympia at 31 degrees, 39 in Tacoma, 40 in Seattle, 34 in Bellingham. So depending on where you are, you know, some of you are kind of mild this morning and some of you are pretty cold. Look at Winthrop at 26 degrees. Well, as we go hour by hour, any of those leftover clouds are going to clear out. And of course, with that ample sunshine, we're going to warm into the mid and upper 50s once again. So it's going to be another unseasonably warm day for most of us. Keep in mind, again, we should be around 54 this time of year. Yesterday, we hit 62. The day before that, we hit 61. And today, well, some of you could potentially hit 60 degrees. And that, it, that better chance would be in the South Sound, of course. But now that we're officially into spring, it's the first weekend of spring, let's talk about what the Climate Prediction Center's prediction is for our temperature outlook. So notice how we are part of the above average there in the orange. So half of the state, Western Washington, that is. Eastern Washington looks like it could go either way, but most of Western Washington looks to be above average in terms of our spring high temperatures. At least that's what the Climate Prediction Center is predicting. In terms of our precipitation, it really only looks like it could go either way. It doesn't, they don't have us in above or below average. So we could get above, we could get below average, we could get average rainfall. We'll just have to wait and see, but I will tell you that rain is on the way soon, as you'll see in the seven day forecast. So you can see that we have the morning clouds turning to afternoon sunshine today, mid to upper 50s. So very similar to the last couple of mornings tomorrow. It's also going to be similar, except for we'll keep a few more clouds around. So mostly cloudy for tomorrow, but still dry, mid-50s. Then as we go into Monday, that's when we start to see some bigger changes in terms of precipitation moving back in. And you can also notice that temperature drop as well. Highs only near 50 degrees, and that stays with us through the end of the week as well. So expect daily rain chances and slightly cooler temperatures as we go into next week. But until then, sit back, have your coffee, and enjoy the day. All right. See, you actually could tell through that whole broadcast that after you ate that cookie, you really wanted a glass of milk. So that was your karma for chomping those cookies. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Got that right. All right. We'll check in with you soon, Mr. Face. Coming up next.